Hi there, I'm Cliff Mims and welcome to Talking Ed. Uh, today I have very pleased to have a special guest. Uh, uh, S.A. Bodine is an author. Uh, she better known as Stephanie to her friends, uh, she tells me. And uh, she's an author of a number of uh, four books, uh, four novels and ch uh, for children's literature. And uh, I'm here at the AIM conference, the Arkansas Association of Instructional Media Conference. And uh, they have brought in a number of children's authors uh, for this conference. And uh, Stephanie was among them and even gave a, 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 is one of the keynote speakers and has been a huge hit with uh, the more than 500 librarians that have been in attendance here at this conference. And so I'm uh, very pleased uh, that she has agreed to talk with me about her uh, her novels and then also share with us uh, some advice for potential writers that might be in some of our classrooms. So it's my pleasure to introduce you now to Miss Stephanie Bodine. Hi Cliff, I'm glad to be here. Um, my books, I started writing picture books many years ago and then I've just forayed into novels since 2008. So my first novel is The Compound and I told a little bit today about my journey of writing it. There was a lot of quitting and finally kept going with it and was very happy. It was received very well, made a lot of state award lists and followed it up with The Gardener and then The, the Raft and then finally The Fallout, which is the sequel to The Compound, which I was never going to write because I thought the story <laughs> was over. But after spending so much time in middle schools and high schools and everyone would always want to know, well, what happens next? And I would say, no, nothing happens, it's over. But I began to wonder myself what happens next. So The Fallout came out in the fall and those are all with Macmillan. I'm very lucky to be working with the same editor on all my novels. Very good. All right, so would you provide us a little bit of background about, and let's go with uh, the fallout and, and the sequel, uh, because you've got a little bit of storyline there. And it seems to be what I saw more people purchasing and getting you to autograph today. So maybe that's what you're a little better known for at this point. Uh, tell us a little bit about that storyline between those two novels. Well, The Compound takes place, it is about, the main character is Eli, a 15-year-old boy who for the past six years has been living in an underground compound after a nuclear attack. And to make matters worse, he is an identical twin, and his twin was left on the outside when the door closed. And that is how the novel starts out, and things are not as they seem, and things go downhill very fast, even though things are already bad. And the fallout picks up about three or four weeks after the compound ends. So it's definitely a, it's a pretty straight continuation. Okay, and I've learned about a new genre of, uh, of novel for children's literature. So tell people what's the genre that, that these books are situated in? Um, they sometimes they're referred to as dystopian. I don't know if they're strictly dystopian, but sometimes they get categorized as that. But def definitely thrillers. I'd put them in the thriller category. Okay. Very good. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, there might be some potential authors out there and young people that really are developing a passion for writing. So what advice do you have uh, to, to these young individuals? Well, like anything else, you need tools in your toolbox. And so for a writer, those tools are things that you can get from reading and listening to your English teacher. Honestly, those are about the two biggest things I can think of because Every time I read a book, I take something away from it that I didn't know before, and I don't think you will have those tools if you don't read. And also, boy, listening to your English teacher, nobody likes to learn the comma rules, but if you're going to be a writer, it helps to know where to put the commas. <laughs> so, boy, learning some grammar and listening to your English teacher and, boy, reading everything you can get your hands on and writing all the time. Practice makes perfect like anything else. And so were you a writer as a young person? I was. I loved writing stories. Like in fifth grade, we had a teacher and we had to turn in a creative writing assignment every Friday and I loved it. And so I always wrote. It just took different forms. I was a Peace Corps volunteer and I would like write eight, ten page letters several times a day. I mean, that's how we kept in touch. And so it just took different forms till I finally decided, I was 30 when I decided to try and write for publication. Very 
Good. Um, and uh, I heard you mention to a number of teachers today that you are more than willing to connect with classrooms. So whether it be a site visit with the school or through Skype, uh, you're you would love to talk to kids. So uh, how can some people in our audience connect with you? I absolutely love to Skype and do school visits. And I'm on Twitter at S.A. Bodine. I'm on Facebook, S.A. Bodine. You can totally message me there. Or I also have a website, writersabodine.com. And my email and information is on there as well. Okay. Any final thoughts before we sign off? Final thoughts, I've had a great time here in Arkansas. Yeah. I've had some fabulous librarians, and it's so exciting to hear from them that their kids love my books, and that's why I do what I do. Well, we thank you, and I've heard from a number of young people just how much they enjoy your books. So uh, as an educator and as a father, I appreciate you inspiring young people. I sincerely mean that. Uh, so keep at it. Um, and we'll call this uh, a wrap. And so I'm Cliff Mims, and she was S.A. Bodine, the author, uh, known as Stephanie to her friends, and we've been Talking Ed.